Alright, hey what's up, Darts here, and today I'm going to show you how to use a work path from Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and use it in Cinema 4D to make make it 3D, like a 3D logo, like this Apple logo right here. So, once you have your work path and you have your Lightroom set up in Cinema 4D, go to File and go to Merge. Go to where your file is, your work path, click it and open it. And you'll get this Adobe Illustrator import. Just hit OK because you don't really need to worry about that. And now we have our Apple logo in here. So you have a second path of it and you have a first path of it. You're going you're to need to use both, obviously, but this is how we're going to do it. Click on this little button right here, but when you click, hold down, and you'll get these six options. Click Extrude NURBS. And you have to do that twice because we need two of them. So do that twice. And pull the first path on the one and the second path on the other. Oh, shit there and as you can see we have two paths here so now you probably you guys want probably want to get glossy and nice so I'm going to show you how to do that right now so go to your extrude nerves on both of them you need to click on both of them and to click on both of them at the same time click on one of them hold down control and click on the other one and you obviously just selected both alright now on the caps go to fill a cap fill a cap for this end cap too and put it on four and three tap one four again and three and go to your objects and change this number with the centimeters to eighty centimeters so now it's nice and thick but now we're gonna add some color and some obviously some glossy colors so i'm gonna use purple so you just pull a purple on there and as you can see oh, render time well, yeah, in a minute you'll see that, see we have a nice shine effect on the top and on the sides from your Lightroom and everything. So now I'm just going to add a middle piece to this. So click on both of the extrude nerves and hold down control and hit C and V to copy it and paste it. And now once you have both of the new ones selected, change this 80 to 40. Go to your caps and change the top one and the bottom one to 7 and 5 as well as the bottom for 7 and 5 and you usually want to pull on white or black doesn't really matter which ones you pull on so once you have this get a good angle where you can look at your logo and you're going to want to move this to about the center that looks about right alright now we're going to render this out and it should look pretty nice like a 3D logo like I had in my 3D logo pack if this is how you got here but if you didn't, yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Whew. So as you can see, we now have our 3D logo. And this is a basic tutorial on how to use your work pass from Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop in Cinema 4D. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Stay tuned for more.